Finally, another shipwreck's been found in the bottom of Lake George. It's a cruise boat that went to the bottom 75 years ago. Steve Scoville takes us on a back roads trip for the story. Lake George is well known for its deep, cold water and for its long history of passenger boats of all shapes and sizes. When Joe Zarzinski and his dive team from Beto Below find some of those boats on the bottom of the lake, it's always exciting. This is a Klein side scan sonar of the 35 foot long Miss Lake George. The white shows you the shipwreck itself. You can make it out. The acoustic shadow is the black and you can see that the stern is intact, the engine block sits up amidship, and there's the cut water of the bow. And this is what the dive team saw when they swam down to the wreck. This is the most intact part of the Miss Lake George. The uh, transom, the aft deck, and to the forward would have been where the passengers are. But why did the boat sink on July 21st, 1929? Like other gas-powered boats of the time, it might have backfired and ignited some gas fumes. 20 minutes into the cruise, the vessel catches fire. The young captain, 22-year-old Harmel Burton, grabs a fire extinguisher. The 10 people grab uh, life jackets. They jump in. The fast-moving fire burned away most of the hull of the Miss Lake George. At that point, it was no longer buoyant, and the weight of the engine sank the boat. Newspaper articles of the day reported all on board were rescued. The vessel was a product of her times, the Roaring Twenties, in which there was prosperity and optimism. And the ironic thing is, she sank three months before the Great Depression, as the nation also sank. Steve Scoville, News Channel 13, Lake George. That's it for this half hour. NBC Nightly News is next. We'll be back with a full report live at 11. We'll have a follow-up report on the bear that's still stuck up in a tree in Albany. We'll bring you up to date. Until then, have a good evening.